Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. The overall energy here is the Queen of Cups. Behind the Queen of Cups is the Knight of Swords and you have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, You could be this Queen of Cups energy or you could be dealing with the Queen of Cups. Okay, And behind the Four of Pentacles is the King of Cups. Wow, the Knight of Wands, the Three of Swords. Your intuition, it seems like it's screaming at you right now about the fact that there could for sure be um, some type of relationship or partnership. This could be a relationship, um, a partnership that you're currently in or one that's about to come in. The issue here is that there is more than one um, energy, perhaps that is in your energy. The Queen of Cups is here. Hmm. This queen of cups, it may not be you. This may be somebody else. Somebody wants, there's there's like a karmic feminine here chasing somebody. And it could be a queen of cups. This could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but again, it doesn't have to be. The queen of cups usually is someone who can be very intuitive. Okay, this could be someone who is very intuitive. They could have spiritual, psychic gifts, talents, and or abilities. Um, now, whether they use them for things of the light or of the dark, who knows? But it looks like this person is actually in somewhat of a masculine energy. They are very determined at this time to rush towards a person to hold on to this King of Cups. This King of Cups, though, is someone who is in the Knight of Wands energy with this Queen of Cups, meaning this person could possibly be entertaining a third party, all right? This person could have already broken up with this Queen of Cups or whatever the case may be. It seems like this um, King of Cups is actually trying to rush towards a high priestess, all right? So you have a Queen of Cups out here and there's like a, a battle between a Queen of Cups and a high priestess. Now, this high priestess, this, a high priestess is not going to fight with the Queen of Cups, okay? It, the high priestess is, is who can teach the queen of cups. This is a karmic feminine here who is at this point wanting to spiritually battle, have a face off with the high priestess. And this person is going to be very much rejected and disappointed because, yeah, the three of cups is here. So the three of cups, someone here wants a union or a reunion with a masculine who is constantly doing, um, I said constantly, who is currently doing some type of shadow work and healing to prepare themselves perhaps to be in a divine connection with a high priestess you see it here somebody here is rushed this queen of cups is rushing towards this masculine because they're hoping to have some type of um union or reunion they're seeing this person as their divine counterpart this masculine does not see this queen of cups as their their actual counterpart so this person is now seeing the truth about a situation that has been happening so in the recent past, we have here the world card and the ace of wands. The world and the ace of wands to me is giving very much um, someone free themselves recently. Okay. Now, recent past for you could have been yesterday, could have been last year, but someone has freed themselves. Okay. I feel like this is a masculine energy who has freed themselves. They're becoming more passionate about a brand new beginning because the fool card is here with the seven of cups as the current energy, as the current energy is here. This is saying that someone wants to take a leap of faith. OK, they are becoming more daring. They want to take a risk. This is Aries energy, divine masculine energy. This person, uh, when I think of the fool, I also think about like the magician. Someone here has already come out of a cycle, obviously, with the world card being here and they're going into something new. The world card is like a graduation. There's a spiritual graduation. Someone here wants to. Um, there could have been a conversation or a situation that took place between someone. I don't feel like these two people are together. Um it's been at least like two to six months. Perhaps these people have been broken up. I feel. Um, somebody here is starting to see more offers or opportunities or whoever this queen of cups is, this person is coming into the realization that this masculine has options. Okay. What's happening right now in someone's conscious mind is the justice and the two of cups. So someone here wants to balance the scales out because, like I said, there is a person out here who is preparing for sure for some type of new partnership. 
This could be a romantic partnership. It could be a friendship. It could be um, a business partnership. There could be a contractual agreement that happens between these two people. Okay. But someone is, has moved away from someone already. And I feel like this is the masculine. There's a, there's, it's very, this is specific. There is a masculine who has moved away from a karmic feminine. All right. Now this queen of cups, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with this person. They don't have to be a bad person necessarily, but this person is not the person that this masculine is choosing as their, um, their partner. Okay. So what do we have that's happening here? In the environment is a six of cups and the ace of cups. It's a very strong soulmate connection here. It could be a past life connection. Someone here wants to return to someone from their past. Okay. So if, if you're the person watching and you're like the divine feminine, somebody could want to come back to you. But I'm getting more past life with this six of cups, not so much past. Okay, if it's a past person, it's someone you and this person probably have not had a relationship. The reason why I say that is because the Ace of Cups being here, this is something that it, it feels very new. Okay, this doesn't mean that you don't know this person, but you don't know this person as in um, you don't know them as a partner. Okay, this person wants to balance something out between the two of you or just in their own personal life so that they can be a partner. Somebody here wants to balance things out so that they can offer you a, a equal give and take. Again, this is not some narcissistic person who has broken your heart and all of that. So you don't have to start saying that you will never let your ex back because it's not who I'm talking about. In the future, we have the page of pentacles and the ten of swords is here. Somebody is going to get confirmation that something here is completely over. There's no more anxiety. There's no more mental imprisonment. Someone here is sick and tired of me, sick and tired of some type of um, an offer to start over from someone. I feel that um, someone right now could have recently received communication from a person or they will very soon of a person who is in regret and wants to express to this masculine. This seems like a feminine that wants to express to this masculine that, you know, they messed up, that they want to go back and, and try again or something like that. And I don't think that this masculine wants to hear it because again, this masculine, the lover speaks of a choice. Okay. The masculine here wants to go in the direction where they can be an emperor. With this other person, with this queen of cups, this masculine is, they're a king of cups, okay? So it's really like someone realizing that they had a soulmate, but they now want to go towards their divine counterpart, okay? And for this masculine to be the emperor, that means that they will have to go towards this, this high priestess, meaning they will have to reject the offer of reuniting with this queen of cups. This Queen of Cups knows this. I feel like they're upset about it. So someone here is spiritually ascending. They graduated from um, a time, a cycle in their life where they were with a soulmate who was karmic. A karmic soulmate does not have to be bad. A karmic soulmate is someone, they learn lessons with that person. Okay, they learn lessons and they've come to realize that now, again, to be the divine feminine, divine masculine, they need to be with their actual counterpart. And it's not this person. All right. These people have there has been a breakup here. It could have been no contact, but somebody is now either reaching out to communicate or they're sending some type of signal energetically to express that. Um, they feel like they've made a mistake. I'll just put it that way. I don't know. I feel like I want to use these cards. Let's see. Let's see what happened in the recent past. The world and the Ace of Wands here, though, it's like something here for, for one person in this situation. It's definitely over. Um, someone here has made their the Justice card. Someone has made a final decision that they will not return to someone. But, you know, of course, that doesn't stop the other person from still trying to re-enter someone's life. You know, when people break up, um, this can be someone that they've broken up with a person and they've enjoyed a honeymoon phase with someone else, but now they want to go back home. But the person that they left behind has now moved on and is 
working on themselves to become the counterpart um, for someone else because it, I just saw 11 11 when I said that this person now wants to come back and it's like no it's too late it's like a, a, a day late and a dollar short for sure so let's see you have the page of wands I feel like I'm hearing something. They're, they're done with their childish ways. Okay. This energy of someone being very optimistic, willing to hop into relationships, um, willing to travel. This could be someone with the world card here, willing to um, quickly hop into bed or with relationships with people that they met possibly online. This King of Cups. Okay. This King of Cups is going through a spiritual awakening where they may have met this Queen of Cups like online back at a time when they were, you know, a bit more childish. They were very free spirited, um, a little bit careless at the time, especially with the um, Ace of Wands being out here. This could have started out as something that was small, casual, grew to be sex, you know, sexual, obviously. These people could have had a passionate connection, but it wasn't enduring. It wasn't meant to last. This person, I feel, is detaching themselves yeah the strength card this could have been a leo doesn't have to be all right these people could have had children together but they don't have to i feel though with this empress and this devil card being here this devil here has been captured it's caught i feel like this person the sun has is going through an awakening where they're manifesting a lot and it's because of this divine feminine this person has now come into a connection with the divine feminine that is um expressing to them the importance of growing healing maturing um, becoming spiritually awakened and enlightened, re returning to a state of of purity. Someone here is learning about releasing soul ties. Someone has realized now that they attach themselves to someone definitely sexually and created a soul tie with the person and it became a strong hold. Now that this person has met or will meet this divine feminine, this person, they're, they're seeing past the illusions. They're seeing past the fog. The sun is here. And now this person is realizing that they want to manifest something different for themselves. The chariot is here. Something here has come to a screeching halt because, yeah, the Knight of Cups. Somebody who wants to take their offer to something that is going to have progress. It's going to be some type of long-term stability and security. Why? Because they've become awakened and aware of something. Somebody just now sees the truth about a person and it doesn't have to be anything bad. This is, yeah, it's just a toxic connection. And the world is now out here twice. The world, look at this. The world is out here three times. You have the world, the world, and then you have the world here. So this again is someone here who has walked away from a situation. Those people who were in this relationship previously, they both are going through their own spiritual graduation and awakening, but there is a divine feminine here who is not in this karmic cycle. This masculine wants to get completely out of the cycle, I feel, and go to wherever this divine feminine is. So there's a, a feminine out here who most likely is inspiring someone to, to, to awaken, whether you know it or not. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the hangman and the death card this is a spiritual transformation someone is ready to put an end to um hanging in limbo there being delays there has to be a, a spiritual transformation here whoever the karmic feminine is in this energy and again i'm not trying to say anything bad about this person this person being left behind by this masculine is the best thing because it's going to, it's a catalyst. I don't want to say force them into, but it's a catalyst. Someone, two people came together when they were younger. Um, they didn't have the level of, of awareness that they have. It was based on with the devil card being here, codependency. You know, maybe they were both young, but someone here is choosing to grow and ascend. They have to leave something behind. You have the king of pentacles. Wow. And double lovers here. So somebody here has finally recognized that they have a twin flame connection with someone. Yeah. The sun. This is a masculine. There's a masculine that is fully woke with the star here. Oh, yeah. They, they're not drinking stupid juice anymore. 
somebody here, they know exactly who their person is. They know exactly where they're going. They know exactly what they have to get to do to get there. And that means that whoever this karmic toxic feminine is has to be left behind. The only reason why I'm saying that this person is a bit toxic is because the devil is here. This is someone who thinks that they can entice the person by using, I don't know, like there, there's just an, an energy of overindulging here. All right. This could be someone who's very um, sexual or they're obsessed with money or something. They're, they're obsessing over something. And then most likely is to feel some type of void. At the time that this person connected with this masculine, they both were hungry for the same thing. But because someone is actually growing and maturing, like I said, evolving, someone is is closing some type of wound. So they no longer feel their same attraction because obviously someone is growing while the other person is not. So it's, it's contractual. It's karmic. It's a karmic contract. So I always say once once you with certain people when we talk about karmic connections once you've learned the lesson from that person or their situation there's no longer a need for that person really to be in your life you've already learned the let this was just a reason and a season it wasn't meant to be anything but in the meantime in between time of learning this lesson during this season someone has discovered a blessing that they would like to have for a lifetime Yeah, Ten of Swords. Someone here has taken a lot of losses as well due to this situation. But I feel like this I'm, I'm here, this person is embracing these losses because they understand that they had to go through something here in order to understand the meaning of true partnership, growth, development, real love. But there, it's like somebody I'm hearing, they're down bad. Ten of Swords, clarify please, Ten of Swords. The hermit, yeah. So after the deception, the betrayal, somebody is going within into her, they're in hermit mode. Okay. I've, again, someone here is cleansing, clearing. They're they're getting rid of the unclean spirits. This person is like embodying this um king of swords energy where they're they could be working closely with Archangel Michael, but someone is holding up their sword of truth when it comes to these illusions because again, someone here they cannot stop looking at this divine feminine somebody is seeing the truth they see the light in a divine feminine so the more truth and light they see in the divine feminine the more they recognize these illusions in this queen of cups person who could actually be any sign this queen of cups though i will say i'm picking a very heavy um cancer and leo in their chart cancer leo and aquarius in this person's chart that could help someone, but of course the um, signs could be different for anyone. This person could be a Cancer Leo cusper, or they have Cancer Leo. They definitely care a lot about the spotlight, but they emotionally resonate with like a Cancer energy. This person has probably hidden the way that they truly felt about a masculine. Their feelings are coming. They're they're coming out of the shell. This, yeah, it, it's a cancer right here. They're coming out of the shell now because they're realizing that they want something that they they no longer have access to. But the reason why they want this masculine is not because it's meant to be. It's just because this person is still codependent. The devil card also. This person could be, especially picking up like this Leo energy. This person wants control. This cancer energy wants control they, they, this person wants to dominate this masculine energy who at some point like i said could have been a little immature a little um careless maybe even in their in a distorted masculine energy themselves both of these people could have capricorn in their chart also but again this person has has um gotten their eyes set now on the true divine feminine so they now want to be very clear now about their intentions so they're seeing past all of the illusions because they're going through an awakening this person is also seeing too the reason why they was going through this ten of swords it had a lot to do with their choices in the past in partners 
yeah, judgment. They're going through an awakening. They're they're finally hearing the the, the call from the Most High. They're like, it's it's time for you to get get things together. It's it's time to make changes. Somebody was in a very with the world card being out here three times. Wow. There's a lot of endings. The world can signify obviously endings as well as beginnings. But I feel like all these worlds represent, like I said, the three people who some of you, you don't know this person yet. This could be someone that's coming into your life, but they left someone else behind. They're going to be very inspired by you. But someone here definitely is more spiritually evolved than the others. Because you see here this world card, this person is completely out of the matrix. This is that high priestess energy. Like I said, a, a high priestess would never fuss, fight, argue, or anything with the queen of cups. The queen of cups learns from the high priestess. The high priestess was once a queen of cups. So the queen of cups does not know how to... Um, be emotionally mature and stable just yet. Or they lack the wisdom, perhaps, that the high priestess has. There could be an age difference between these two feminine energies. Take it however it resonates. Yeah, but the lovers is here. Somebody has made their choice. <laughs> the lovers is out here twice. And the death card, someone has made a final decision. So someone has been, on, wow, and the justice card, it's a final decision. Someone knows exactly who they're going to be with and there's nothing that's going to stop this or change it. The Wheel of Fortune, the ball is already in motion. There's a new contract that has been written. It will not be changed because it already had to be changed before. Yeah, the Page of Cups. So someone comes in with some kind of communication and offer a gesture um, an invite, an invitation, or anything else is going to be rejected. This person has become balanced, stable, mature. They're being spiritually led and, and guided to go into something brand new where they're moving and they're being practical. See, somebody here was used to a person in the past being young, wild, immature, quick to hop in the bed, like I said, whatever. Okay, or someone at, in the past, they were not established and it was easy to control this person. Now, I'm picking up, like I said, this is like a masculine dealing with the fem but take it how it resonates. This could be a divine feminine who in the past was, you know, very free spirited, a little bit frivolous with your time, effort, energy, whatever. You could have a masculine that now is trying to summon you back into their life and they are... um they are confused, impressed, confused, and upset by how emotionally balanced you are. This temperance here, you're, you're on, on solid ground. You're, both feet are in the water here, meaning, like I said before, the Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups is not as emotionally mature as a high priestess. Someone here in the past could probably um, easily manipulate a person who didn't understand when or how to fully trust their intuition someone has really had a deep dive in and can trust their own intuition so you can't make a fool out of this person whether it's a divine feminine or masculine this could be both for divine feminine and masculine um you guys have people who want to come towards you now and present an offer to you where in exchange you're going to have to conform to their way of living because they have not yet gotten out of the matrix. They are still tied into something that is toxic and rooted in codependency. Could be a Sagittarius out here, heavy Sagittarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra. Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, those seasons could be significant, but this stronghold has been broken. There's a divine masculine who has broken completely away from a stronghold um, with another person here. And like I said, this person could have Leo in their chart or Leo season, which is coming up in a few weeks. Someone is going to make a very bold move to really free themselves from something. Um, Leo season starts in like two weeks. 
Okay, so again, something here with um, Cancer and Leo. Cancer season is obviously shedding light on all things that have been done behind the moon, behind the scenes. It's all being um, kind of like people are getting the intuitive nudges that they need about it. Leo season brings the exposure. It's going to be put out in Leo season that, hey, you know, this happened. But there's a final decision that has, has been made. I will say here, somebody has possibly found or will be finding their counterpart very soon because someone is actively manifesting. Yeah. Heavy Sagittarius energy here. All right. This could be a divine feminine and masculine both coming together. All right. Queen of Pentacles is out here. I did see the King of Pentacles before. So someone here who was once the Page of Wands, King of Cups, in one relationship, a connection possibly with this um, energy I'm picking up on, Cancer Leo Aquarius could be heavily aspected to that person's chart. This person is, this masculine is now tapping more into this divine masculine energy where they're going to show up as a King of Pentacles. Like I said, they want a family. They want a home. They want to have wealth legacy they want to really be a protector and a provider because they want to reach this like god consciousness with this divine being that they've come across which is this divine feminine the high priestess yeah here it is king of swords the high priestess the sun and the sun these two people um may be contracted to have a child together Someone here was born like a golden child, but maybe, you know, of course they had to go through a period of some karma. This person is tapping back into their divinity. And I feel Archangel Michael is definitely coming in, helping this person. But this person could be a king of swords themselves. They could have, they definitely could have Sagittarius and Libra in their chart. I'm picking up a masculine that has... Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Libra in their chart. This person is actually, um, they could have Virgo in their chart too. This person is kind of, what do I want to call this? I'm just going to say traditional. This person is traditional in a way, but I feel like this person on their path, they went towards something that was more so status quo. The status quo lifestyle that they were going towards with this karmic feminine does not match what they want for themselves as far as when it comes to tradition. Some people say, well, status quo and being traditional is the same. Not exactly, because this person, they actually have, because I feel like this person was raised to be a divine being. This, this is a divine person, but they got off of their, their path at some point to work with a person to be in a connection when they were younger, um, didn't quite understand some things about their path, and they were going for something that was more status quo, um, more socially accepted or something like that. But it, it still isn't a match for who who they actually are or who... They've been raised to be. So that situation, wow, look at this. <laughs> I feel like Spirit came in and said, no, you're not a divine masculine in this contract with this person. So judgment has to be called. Justice has to be served. All right. Because this person most likely was able to see they weren't manifesting anything in a situation with someone that they thought was status quo. But it's not in alignment with their soul purpose. And then I think, boom, divine intervention happened. The universe came in and pulled the, the wool from over this person's eyes and showed them the truth of what was happening behind the veil. But they could have had a bit of help in seeing the truth after they actually met this divine feminine, high priestess. Wow. This is interesting so somebody got out of a karmic situation and met their twin flame 
they either already knew their twin flame or they met this person while they were in this karmic situation or they're going to meet this twin flame high priestess person shortly after they get out of a situation for some this has already happened you've already connected with this person if not this is who will be coming into your life just know that they will have someone that they are detached from that is going to try to get back into their energy because the person that's trying to get back into their energy um could carry like some narcissistic traits this person is hungry for control because they're they're there's they're codependent this could be you like i said whoever this could be for a divine feminine or a masculine you have here the empress and the five of pentacles this empress i feel is the Empress and the Five of Pentacles, you, that's a conflicting energy. This is a distorted feminine energy, which I feel is like this karmic feminine. This person who should be very fertile and abundant, growing and creating a lot of things. This is someone who may have, um, may be feeling very abandoned, betrayed. This person is codependent. They're, they struggle when they're alone. If they don't have a person around them to make it look like everything is okay, then they're, they, they, this person feels like they're only a divine feminine if they're in a certain relationship. And now that this masculine has left this person, whoever this distorted feminine is, they're struggling. They're at the Ten of Wands now. Because I feel like this, wow, Ten of Wands, <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. This person is very, very stressed out and overwhelmed at this time because they now are being forced to walk away. So this is this is how spiritual awakenings happen. This is this is what you call growing pains. Because this person, you know, and we've all been there, who thought that that wow, look at this. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Nine of Wands, and then the Ten of Wands. Seven, eight, nine, ten. July, August, September, October. I said that. Cancer season, Leo season, Virgo season, Libra season. There's a lot of significant changes happening over the next three or four months. So this divine masculine or divine feminine, whomever, they're meeting someone that's going to kind of nudge them in a way that's going to have them to spiritually awaken. Whoever this karmic feminine or masculine is that's in the background wanting someone to come back, they're going to be forced to walk away because someone here, I feel, is struggling with walking away because they feel like they invested so much. This person it, like overcompensated and invested a lot in a relationship because of their codependency. This person thought that if they offer all of this love and you know, they did all of this stuff for this masculine or whatever that it was going to guarantee them a spot. That's the reason why this person is feeling very betrayed and stressed and confused and so wounded right now because they feel like they they're so burdened. But they took on the responsibility of trying to win over this masculine, but it wasn't meant for them to be with this masculine forever. This is, you know, someone thinking that, OK, if if I give someone everything, then you can make them love you and you can't. Ace of Cups. But it's here with the Ten of Swords. What did I just say? <sighs> yeah. Someone feels very, very betrayed by the fact that this masculine wants to offer their cup to someone else and move on to peaceful, calmer waters. Because whoever this karmic feminine is, this person feels like they gave this person the world. The world card was out here three times. Like, I gave you everything. But they did all of this out of codependency. This, these two people came together because of codependency. Now that the masculine is awakening and they're less codependent, they now are becoming more mature and independent. This connection, the trauma bond is over, in other words. Yeah, somebody wants to move on to peaceful, calm waters. But look, five of cups. This person is devastated that they cannot hold on to this person. Wow. 
And to see this person offer love to this high priestess has this person like losing it. Hangman, hey Knight of Cups, the Ten of Cups, this, this masculine is awakening and they know exactly where the Ten of Cups is and it's with someone new. Wow. Well, that's that. The bottom here, we have the Ten of, I'm sorry, the Devil and the Four of Swords. Someone here is healing after being in a toxic codependent connection. They're healing. And this Queen of Cups, like I said, thought that they would rush in to try to hold on to this King of Cups who was like in this player energy with them at some point. This person has now discovered, either this person has discovered, is, has met a divine feminine who is a high priestess, or this person is just getting wise counsel from a high priestess who was advising them. Mm -mm. This person met a divine feminine. They you literally, I'm just splitting the day. There's the empress. Somebody, somebody ran across a divine feminine and they're like, it's, it's all, I'm, it's all gas, no brakes. Like I could never go back. And again, there's a cancer here. Cancer, Libra, Taurus. There's a, there's definitely a cancer out here. This cancer, I don't think is this divine feminine though. But, but again, you guys take it how it resonates because the, um, the signs could be different. But somebody, and this masculine could have been confused because the high priestess usually represents like Pisces energy. So the high priestess could be a water sign. Doesn't have to be, but it could be. And the person that they were connected with could also be a water sign. So this person with the seven of cups out here has all of these water and this confusion and illusions and emotions. And I feel like this masculine finally just said, forget it. Like they just took a leap of faith and, and moved in a different direction. So someone here is moving away from the pain from some type of breakup or separation or, or realizing that something was um, holding them back from the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here is definitely recognizing, I feel this masculine, that the reason why they're not getting their Ten of Pentacles, which is... Um, stability, security for some family, children, money, business, and all of that. It's because of the person that they've chosen. Psychology will tell you that the person that you marry can make or break you. And that's the truth. Somebody sees that they were in some type of trauma bond or codependent relationship with the person. And ever since they ran across this individual, they've had a lot of strongholds in their life. Yeah, four of pentacles. This person has probably struggled financially. They can't seem to move. There's the masculine who can't catch a break. Knight of pentacles. Everything has been moving very slowly for this person. This has probably guided this person back to God. Finding peace and solace and returning to what they know to be tradition. Like I said before, this person has an idea of marriage, commitment, and tradition. They now are getting back on their divine path after being in this Knight of Wands energy. Wow. Knight of Wands, King of Wands. Mm -hmm. And the Eight of Swords. Whoever this karmic feminine is, they can't let this go. This karmic feminine did not want this masculine to evolve because they wanted to be able to control this masculine. But this, that didn't happen because the masculine went from being the Knight of Wands, being in and out, flaky, maybe even a little bit toxic to becoming the King of Wands. Why? Because this person is going within for shadow work, healing, introspection. And what they found is that their um, energy is going to be is better suited for someone different. Someone that. They can have a connection with that will be pleasing to God is what I'm hearing. Wow. And here you have uh oh the Queen of Cups, Knight of Swords. This this Queen of Cups can can get in a very masculine energy. That may be this is the Knight of Swords, which is air energy. But I feel like this person, the way that they communicate, 
it can come off as very masculine. And again, I feel like this person has Leo in their chart. This person, when they want something, they don't take no for an answer. This person thought that they were going to like spiritually bully this masculine. Yeah, by any means necessary, they were going to make this masculine return to them or whatever. And I feel like this masculine right now is like, no, I'm happy. I'm in peace and I'm not coming back. <laughs> this masculine is like, no, I'm good. I'm not coming back. The death card. This is over. I'm not returning. <laughs> I found a divine feminine. Thanks, but no thanks. Judgment and the eight of wands. Yeah. Six of wands. This person's like, I found a divine feminine. All of my my burdens seem to be fading. I, I'm never coming back. I found one that I can take home to me, my mom. I'm not coming back. It's just, that's it. Nine of Pentacles. Security, stability. I feel like this, uh, wow. Remember I said this person could have Leo in their chart? This Queen of Wands, this Queen of Cups may have been trying to hold money over someone's head. Their security, their stability, um, the nine of pentacles can speak of a person sometimes who has like they enjoy the fruits of their labor. They could have a luxurious lifestyle. This person is like, you know, the queen of wands. I'm optimistic. You know, I'm a powerful manifester. Um, I'm a little witchy. I, you know, the queen of wands can, can get down and dirty. Okay. This person thought that by being emotionally manipulative and flaunting what they could do or what they have was going to keep this masculine. This masculine is raising their vibration they want the real deal this masculine is like no i want my good karma i want my fortune i want my birthright and it's not here in a relationship with this queen of wands queen of cups person but this person could have been at a crossroads at some point because of some kind of teamwork or collaboration yeah this this feminine here karmic feminine was trying to bully this masculine in the dark Maybe with something related to finances, career, like I said, teamwork, three of pentacles here definitely has something to do with this man's money. So one big thing I'm getting is this mask is realizing that a lot of their blockages in their finances is due to this karmic feminine trying to spiritually bully them so that they could not actually reach a place of being the king of pentacles. This queen of wands, queen of cups person here wanted this masculine to just be a king of cups. So what this person was saying was, hey, I'm the nine of pentacles. As long as you come over here and give me the attention and the affection uh, that I want and we look a certain way to the community, that's all that they want this person to, to do. This masculine is saying, no, I want to actually be a legacy builder. I want a family. I want to protect and provide for a person that's worthy. I don't want to be, I'm here. I don't want to be your sidekick. This, this queen of wands, queen of cups is pissed. They're like, what do you mean? Because they feel like being somewhat narcissistic. They feel like to be with them. And this person could have money with the nine of pentacles to be on their arm with them somebody should be happy with just that but no this mask is saying no I'll, I'll turn my back on this because there's more in the world for me even if i have to fight through conflict and chaos to get to it strength card this person found the strength and the courage to walk away from this cancer <laughs> or here in cancer season someone is getting in their own chariot and they're moving away they're healing from this energy that had this toxic stronghold over their life. There's a cancer new moon that's coming up in a week. This man, this, this mask that I'm picking up on, this person has been extremely wounded by this toxic connection. Their whole life has been affected by this this toxic connection with this karmic feminine. Yeah. Money, problems, hardship, loss, regret, being left out in the cold, and now they have to start over page of wands. Yeah. But the hangman is in the reverse. So with the hangman being in the reverse, this is saying that this person, they're coming out of being stuck and stagnant. They, they've gotten the, the epiphany or the revelation and now their ships are coming in. Wow. And the tower. So this person is getting a very powerful download. And the download that they are receiving is that they are a divine masculine. King of swords, temperance. This person, it's like this person has possibly had an encounter 
even with an angel, for sure, like Archangel Michael. This person, like I said, they may work closely. Look at this. The emperor. This person knows that they're a divine masculine. And anything that's not in alignment with them being a divine masculine because of their connection now with God, with their angels, um, their higher self, they're just getting rid of it. This person, like I told you, they could have Libra and Sagittarius in their chart. So their true nature is to be this fair and just person as a king of swords. This karmic feminine wanted this masculine, though, to be in the energy of being a king of cups. That's not this person's true nature. This person, by, by default, is a king of swords. They're fair. They're just. They, they do things based on logic. When they met this person, though, they were in that page of wands energy. This person is ready now to build something stable, solid. So, again, some of you, you have not met this person. When you do, they're going to um, mean business. And here you have the Queen of Pentacles. They want to be your King of Pentacles. This is not someone who wants a relationship that's based on um, just emotions. They want everything. When you start thinking Pentacles... Wow. Yeah. This person is manifesting. They're moving on a peaceful, calm waters and they're preparing themselves to come in and they they're willing to fight. So they will be communicating with you. Yeah. Page of Cups. The fact that they want to make an offer to you. This person is seeing the truth. About. Yeah. Wow. Page of Swords, the star, the sun, the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of people are going to have their eye on you and this person. If this is the person that you're connected to or about to connect with, this karmic feminine or your, your karmic exes, friends, family, everyone is watching this connection or they will start to watch this connection unfold. I'm telling you, whoever this karmic feminine is, though, this person thought that their, their money, their looks, their emotional manipulative tactics or whatever was going to keep this person. But someone just recently had an awakening and possibly like an encounter, even with like Archangel Michael. This person is like, no, I feel like th this is a real like come to Jesus moment. Somebody who God has reached down and told this person, you are not on the right track and you need to hurry up and wake up quick. You need to wake up judgment because you should, you know, this person received a message. And I feel like when this person decided for somebody on their journey, they're, they're trying to get closer to God, possibly. And they realize that they part of their awakening was they have to go through a pruning season. They have to eliminate this toxic connection with this this karmic feminine. And what it did is it pushed their energy out the way and it's inviting in the energy of a divine feminine. Let's see. Um, let's pull a few of our little love cards and see. But whoever this person is, <laughs> you have here water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and options. Look, someone here got something that look good, tastes good, but this is, I don't want eye candy. I want soul food. You see the apple and the donut. Someone here had more than one option and they had to make a decision. Do you want something superficial something that you know it just looks good on paper into the community or do you actually want to do something that is pleasing to god this happens to be a divine masculine that is wanting to do something that is pleasing to god look at their earth did not didn't we just talk about the earth this person is saying before it was the water energy now this person is in this earth energy they want something grounded practical stable tangible this person's thinking about assets now. They don't need someone in their life that's a liability. Or they don't want to be seen as someone else's liability. Or they don't want to be seen as the thing that adds um, a value to a person for the wrong reasons. Earth and water is significant here. You need to pay attention to the signs. Some, and this reading is, is, I think, because of the illusions. I'm getting a feminine... The karmic feminine that I'm picking up on definitely has water in their chart. And I'm for some reason, I'm really picking up Cancer. Cancer and Leo. 
Cancer, Leo, and Aquarius could be in that person's chart. The karmic feminine. I'm picking up a masculine who has Earth. Definitely like Capricorn, Virgo energy. Libra and Sagittarius in their chart. The divine feminine that I'm picking up on has Earth and water in their chart. The divine feminine could have Capricorn in their chart. Capricorn, Virgo, and if it's water in their chart, I'm picking up Pisces and maybe Scorpio. The, the two feminines here both have water in their chart. One has mostly Cancer, the other one has more Pisces. Every person in this this situation, the feminines and the masculine, I feel like they all have Capricorn in their chart. We just recently had the full moon in Capricorn. What has been triggered in all three parties in this situation is the, the, the shadow aspect of their codependency and how it's playing out in their life. Somebody here didn't choose to, wow. Let go of the codependency. Look at this. You have proposal. <laughs> Soul purpose. Release. Inner child. Romance. Y'all, I'm, I'm telling you. Somebody is choosing a partner to make a, a, a business proposal and offer to um, propose the idea of marriage, a serious relationship something that's in alignment with their soul purpose this means though that they have to release their own inner child wounds and do the shadow work to release something here that is toxic this is a connection someone here got into a connection with someone because they bonded over some type of lack so as someone does this this person is going to come in towards you and they're going to be ready. This is someone coming towards you that wants a very serious relationship. If this person is already in your life, they're going to be taking things to the next level. You can expect them to start whining and dining you. And it's a, a situation that could lead to marriage. Because they're constantly cleansing and clearing their energy. From the situation from the past. Look, breakup is here. Yeah. This person broke up with someone because they knew it was a dead end situation. So somebody just knew that there was in a relationship with somebody and they, they looked at the situation and said, I know I can't marry this person. And they found the strength to walk away. It's because no matter how the life or lifestyle was between these two people, this is not someone's idea of um, a king to marriage. And I feel like the masculine, this is a masculine who's like, yeah, I like, I like this person. But I know I can't marry that person. You have here mirrored souls and happily ever after. Peace of mind, vacation and travel and season love. So, yeah. And then here at the bottom, ghosting. This person has ghosted someone because they see that you're like their mirrored soul. That's why the lovers came out here twice. The death card and the justice. So somebody decided I'm leaving everything behind that's karmic and I'm going towards my counterpart. Again, you may or may not know this person. This Vacation, travel, I feel like you and this person will have fun. You will travel together. Okay, it's a season type of love. So it's a kind of love where you can endure ups and downs. I feel like somebody was in a relationship with someone at some point or they've had several relationships where they knew that if I was to get hurt, it's like this superficial type of love. If I if I lost my money, my car, my clothes or whatever, I know this person wouldn't be there for me. So why would I marry this person? Okay, somebody showed that they were truly karmic so something happened here and it led to a breakup it's because this masculine they didn't sense that there was any security with this this karmic feminine and when they think of marriage and commitment based on tradition tradition they're looking for someone that's gonna stick around yeah for some of you, children is important. Even if there's any type of disharmony with you and this person, you and this person, I'm hearing specifically twin telepathy. Be mindful. If you're already connected with this person, there could be a little bit of turbulence here because this, this external energy is going to come 
really trying to force their way in because they have control issues. So somebody has an ex with control issues that's going to be sending the evil eye. Yeah. Someone here needs to just forgive and heal. As this person gets over this past situation, the relationship is going to be better. Yeah, this person wants to court you. They want to travel with you. They want to let you know that they're ready for love. They see you as their mirror soul, but they want peace. This person came out of a situation where there was a lot of disharmony. Yeah, they want to build a future with you. And look at that. Watch out. It says, this is a warning message. Be aware of gossip envy and jealousy someone or something is trying to stand in the way of this connection there you have it but you give this person butterflies and they want to explore life with you